is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Let's see who's coming towards you in love. It is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with their research watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Overall energy, nine of wands. You're fed up of the situation here, Sag, but looks like you're not giving up, okay? You're exhausted, tired, beaten, wounded, but you've done this over and over again. You've had a lot of experience. You're someone who's very experienced, okay? But now you're just like getting to that point of being really, really fed up, okay? But you're still ready to fight for this. Your cards are up though with this person here because you're very defensive, okay, when it comes to this person here. In the past, we have the Six of Pentacles here, okay? So there was something that was balanced, okay? Or there was a need for something to be balanced. But this is telling me that there was an equal give and take. Things were balanced. Things were okay. All right? Uh, there was a lot of reciprocity, okay? This person and you both put in that equal effort, okay? To get this relationship to start working. So something could have gone wrong, okay? In this situation here maybe one person was putting in more work than the other okay but probably you thought you were taking advantage of okay or i mean let's see. right now with the knight of swords here i feel that there is someone who's wanting to communicate with you okay someone's wanting to communicate with you with the knight of swords here this is not the best of communication okay it's not a very civilized communication i'd say someone who's just being very rash all right, but they just want to confront you about a situation, okay? They want to talk. Someone, this is someone's arrival, okay? But at full speed, this person feels the need to talk to you right now. With the King of Swords in the near future, I feel you're going to be very logical with this person here, okay? You're probably going to cut this person out because you're only wanting to deal with truth, clarity, and you're going to cut the bullshit. How you see yourself is walking away from this relationship, okay? With the Eight of Cups here. You're no longer interested in this relationship here because with the two of wands here in your emotions, you need to make a decision. Maybe you're still thinking of walking away, okay? Maybe you completely haven't, but for right now, emotionally, you've disconnected from this person, okay? With the two of wands, there's a choice that you need to make. This person, ten of swords, yeah, this is the kind of person who's wanted to come towards you, someone you've had an ending with, okay? This person feels very backstabbed, betrayed, and cheated, probably, okay? Either by you or this is what they've done to you, but they feel something's come to an end here and they know that. And the, and the likely outcome, the best potential outcome, you have the Ten of Cups here. So, yeah, I do see a happily ever after, you know, that you're going to have with this person out here. Let's see. What's the Six of Pentacles? Why is, this, why is the Nine of Wands here as the overall energy? Why is the Nine of Wands here as the overall energy? Right, so you have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So this is a strong soulmate connection, okay, that you're dealing with. However, somewhere, somehow here, you've given an ultimatum to this person, okay, because you're fed up of this person's mind games. This person seems to sabotage the connection over and over again. They feel the same, okay, they feel the same. They know this is a strong soul, soul tie connection. They can't shake this off. But they just seem to be very immature, you know, they have issues in communicating. You could have serious conflicts with them, okay? This is someone who likes to win under any cost, okay? So someone who you walked away from, okay? But the reason why you're so defensive right now is because you've given this person an ultimatum. For you, it's like, you know what? You're cutting this person off because you're fed up of this person, okay? You are. And it looks more like a communication here, gap here, rather than anything. See, the Ten of Wands wanted to come out. You're feeling very burdened by this. It's a relationship that is becoming more of a stress and a burden than happiness. Okay, tell me about the Six of Pentacles in the past. So a lot of mind games, you know, with Five of Swords. A lot of mind games, someone who doesn't, who's not very, um, you know, who, who holds back their feelings, okay? They, they, they tend to push you away, you know, they're not truthful to themselves, they're not real with themselves about their feelings. They're, and this is all due to fear, okay? They push you away due to fear. What's the Six of Pentacles? Why is this in the past? Hmm. 
So you could be wanting commitment from with someone, okay? Or this was a very spiritually connect, uh, spiritually spiritual connection, okay? And things were probably going your way, okay? With the wheel of fortune here, everything was fine, okay? But I feel the problem here is with the six of pentacles here, with the page of cups. You were dealing with someone, you know, who's emotionally very, very immature. But you here are someone who's got a lot of wisdom, someone who's very, very mature, okay? You know, you learned your lessons and you know exactly what you wanted. But this person out here, okay, was someone very, very non-committal, all right? The page of cups is someone very immature okay there was a lot of emotions a lot of feelings here but like i said right something was not balanced here see there's one person who's still i mean this is the six of pentacles right but intuitively there's one person here who's getting lesser than the other one right and they're wondering like why won't you give me you know so yeah something was imbalanced and the imbalance here is that with the hierophant at the page of cups here you wanted things to move forward with this person you want a growth expansion but the kind of person that you're dealing with was someone who was just not ready for commitment okay they had a lot of love for you but not the best at expressing their emotions which is why probably things could have come to an end okay there was something that changed in the past okay which forced you to probably end things all right Again, there is a lot of very strong connection here. You feel this is like your spiritual mate, okay? So spiritual connection with the Harf and the Six of Cups here. What's the Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords in the current situation? What is this Knight of Swords? We have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice here. So there is someone here who is rushing in to communicate with you, okay? They are coming in to give you a balance to the situation. So something something was unfair like we saw, right? With the Six of Pentacles here. Something was unfair. Someone was not doing justice to the relationship and you are getting karmic justice now. Something's going to be in your favor. Justice is in your favor. This person's got their karmic justice, okay? And this, whatever it is, justice is on your side, okay? You are going to get what you deserve or what you have given. Because you walked away from a situation from the Ten of Pentacles. You walked away from a situation where you wanted commitment, okay? But there was just a lack of fulfillment, okay? It was just not reaching to that point of someone was not committing to a situation, okay? The situation was just not getting committed. And it was just not fair. You felt cheated, okay? You felt betrayed. But now they're coming in to talk to you, okay? And they want to talk to you about this relationship. Because you walked away from something that you thought was once very, very stable and secure. But unfortunately, it wasn't. We have the chariot here. This could be someone who's very willing, very strong willpower and determination to go through any obstacles and hurdles, okay? To get with you. Could be de dealing with someone who lives at a distance from you. What's the king of swords here? the king of swords five of cups ten of swords and the page of wands There is a lot of disappointment, okay? Someone has a lot of regret, remorse about whatever happened because something I did badly out here. You felt backstab betrayed, they felt backstab betrayed, take it how it resonates. But some, something ended badly, okay? Because in the near future of the King of Swords, because of which there is someone here who's wanting to communicate with you, okay? With the Page of Wands. In the near future, someone's still going to try to communicate with you. This could also be you who's trying to take a new direction, a new path after things ended, okay? Yeah, actually, yeah. No, not that. King of Swords here, you're being very logical in the near future, okay? Because something in the past didn't go the way you ex expected it to, okay? There was a lot of remorse, regret, okay? Things could have been handled differently, but that's a lot of crying over spilt milk about the breakup. You're trying to move on from this person. You're trying to put an end to any of the bullshit, any of the overthinking, overanalyzing. And I think with the Page of Wands here, you're trying to take a new direction, a new path away from this person. See, you're dealing with facts logic you're being very cold okay you're keeping your emotions on the side and you just don't want to deal with the situation emotionally anymore you're going the other way 
because again you feel very cheated very betrayed okay this person could have kept you on hold okay they could, you could have really felt strung along all right but five of cups is a lot of traumatizing energy right you could have felt traumatized by this breakup okay but um there's a lot of loss here there's a huge loss here okay you didn't expect things to end so badly because the ten of swords is really painful okay you have a lot of regret okay and um I feel, I don't know why, I feel you're just no more crying over spilled milk. You're letting go of the past. You're probably even forgiving them, okay? You're just not concerned or bothered anymore, okay? Ten of Swords, you're putting an end to that, yeah? And you're looking towards something else, okay? You're moving forward. You don't want a reconciliation, but you're moving forward towards something new, okay? You're just changing your direction completely from this person. All right. What's the eight of? Um, tell me about the eight of cups. What is this eight of cups? This is how you see yourself. Why do you see yourself as the eight of cups? See, you're walking away. You have the eight of cups twice. What's the eight of cups? You have the lovers, the, the ace of pentacles, and the chariot here. I feel there is an opportunity here. Okay. Of starting something new something stable something committed with this person here <sighs> with the lovers here there's someone here okay where you need to make a choice it's like literally asking yourself are you going to choose your heart or your head i think you're going to make a choice which is a head of a heart decision and you're going to move forward here with the chariot here this could be someone who's moving towards you with the chariot here but i feel you're very strong willed and very determined to move away from this person and move forward because you feel this is the right direction. You're making a very logistic choice, okay? Again, the opportunity is coming in to make things right. This person, there is going to be a new start here. But I don't think you're taking it because you're walking away. You know, Eight of Cups is not only walking away from someone, but it's also walking away, walking towards your happiness. This is going to be something that, going to, that you're going to think about a lot, okay? The Four of Swords is an energy of someone who's doing a lot of thinking, processing, analyzing a situation. But no action okay so maybe you have you're going to have to make a choice but with eight of cups is how you see yourself you literally want for you in your mind it's like if it's not making me happy if it doesn't serve me i'm ready to walk away you could be wanting to travel to someone or someone wants to travel. i'm constantly getting someone who's wanting to come towards you okay but it's going to be up to you whether you want this person or not because ace of pentacles here this is a new beginning okay a beginning that has a lot of potential to grow very big but you're going to have to make a very important choice of whether you want to choose to stay or go. What's the Ten of Swords here? You need to make a decision which is the best for your higher self. Okay. What's the Ten of Swords? What you don't see coming in the environment is the Ten of Swords here. One more card for the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah. Someone's coming to put an end to the betrayal. This is someone who's holding on to you very tight, okay? This is someone who probably would have ghosted you, okay? They've been thinking a lot about you. And what this person wants is with the Empress, this person wants growth, expansion. They want forward movement with you. They want to grow. They want to create something new. This is marriage, commitment, something stable, something secure. Okay, but this person looks at you as the empress. Does not matter whether you're a male or female. It's the energy of the cards here. This is someone who they see you as very nurturing. You take care of yourself. You you used to nurture them. Used to take care of them. You're like a full package. That's how they see you. And they've done a lot of thinking, and they want you to come out of isolation. Okay, now. With the ten of swords here again. This is not only things ending badly here, but this is also someone, you know, who's who's hit rock bottom. Okay, they know they've hit rock bottom here and now they're ready to revive this connection here. They're holding on to you very tight. They're not letting you go sad. They're not. They've withdrawn themselves. Probably this is someone who's ghosted you, okay, and uh, who's isolated themselves, you know. But um, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. Okay, they want a clean slate. They want to start from scratch. And they see you as the empress here. See, ten of cups. Happily ever after is all they want with you. 
They're holding on to you very tight. They're not going to let you go. They want to revive this connection, okay? Because this connection has hit rock bottom, okay? It's the end of it. But now they want to get it back from the brink of failure. Because this person's done a lot of thinking, okay? This could be someone who you thought would never return. But with the helmet here, this person could be someone who's just completely, you know, out of your radar. You just don't know where they are. They probably were giving you the cold shudder, not replying to your emails, messages, whatever, right? But they're coming out of that and they're doing a lot of thinking about how they can get to um, a stable position with you, okay? But that's the Empress's security, okay? And that's how they even look at you with the Empress here. They look at you as someone who's in their power, all right? What's the two of wands? This is in your emotions. What's the two of wands here for Sag? Why is the two of wands here in their emotions? What's this decision? Yeah, see, Sag, that's the decision that you need to make here with the two of wands here. Do you want a brand? So what I'm getting here is with the queen of cups. So you have a lot of love for this person, okay? I can't deny that. You do. You are a very emotional person here. Probably right now you're emotionally unavailable. You're focusing on yourself, nurturing yourself, giving that love to yourself, okay? But you're going to have to make a choice, okay? Because someone wants to work with you. This is someone who wants to work with you. They want a partnership with you. You're going to have to make a choice of whether you want this new beginning with this person or not. They're ready to give in, but are you ready to invest into this relationship again? That's the choice that you need to make. Two of wands here. Maybe you're sticking to a safer choice, okay, and not wanting to move forward, but it's going to be up to you, okay? Because you probably are stuck in making a choice here because you're try trying to stick to the safer choice, being in your comfort zone, because you have fear of change or probably you just have fear of making the wrong choice. Whatever it is, right? This choice is going to be presented to you. You're, you I feel your, sh your cup is shut. Although you have a lot of love here, you're being very detached right now. But there is a situation here where this person wants to work with you, okay? They want a brand new beginning with you. It's going to be up to you to make a choice of whether you want this with this person or not. Seven of Cups. You have your options open. I think you're keeping an open mind out here, which is amazing, right? That's fine. You can consider all your options, weigh out your pros and cons, okay? Or whether you want this with this person or not. Regardless of whether you want it or not, with the Ten of Cups, you have a relationship coming in. This is ultimate wish fulfillment, right? That's sort of happiness love marriage kids whatever even if this is not marriage but this is the 10 of cups this is the this is the ultimate wish fulfillment the ultimate happiness card look what's this two of cups you got a serious serious relationship coming up okay committed relationship okay with a lot of happiness this is what you always wanted and because you had to walk away from this person in order for this person to realize that if they want this with you they gotta be persistent they gotta be you know insistent okay so whatever happens in the near future even if you're choosing to be very logical with this person right i even if you're because you're taking a new direction is what i'm getting you end up things with this person you're taking a new direction you're moving forward that's what's getting this person to drive towards you you ghost them they ghost you okay with a hermit here but then this is what they're coming up to that's the ten of cups that's the best possible outcome what's the ten of cups what's the ten of cups it took for you to walk away, Sag, is what I'm hearing, you know, in order for this person to realize what they've really missed when they lose it, you know. What's the Ten of Cups? Give me one more card here. We have the High Priestess, the Moon and the Nine of Swords. Oh, la la, my God. There is someone here, okay, who's wanting to come in and talk to you, wanting to invest into you. The problem here is with the high priestess here, you know exactly, okay? It's like you were expecting this, you know? You were expecting this because this person is in panic mode because I feel you're not making a choice yet. You're going to keep this person hanging. The high priestess is someone who trusts their intuition, right? This is someone who knows a lot. A lot is a lot is known, a lot is felt, but it's just not being said. You're choosing to keep to yourself, okay? With the moon here, this is someone here who's best sort of fear of the unknown, okay? Either you feel that there's still something that you don't know about this person, okay? Or you just have a lot of fear of unknown, I'm getting, okay? You just don't know where, you're trying to figure out where the situation is heading. And that's what's driving this person nuts here with the nine of swords here. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty around the situation, okay? This... Ten of Cups is coming towards you. Okay, that's the outcome here. But there is this. I think you have a lot of um, fears with the moon here. Okay, your fears. I mean, 
You're holding back your emotions, Sag. I don't know why. See, High Priestess, right? There's this energy of keeping quiet, keeping it, keeping things to yourself, although you know exactly what's happening, you know? Which, because you're holding back, right? Because you're not saying anything, that's going to cause a lot of uh, anxiety with this person here, okay? This person's going to be up at night thinking about what you want to do about this. You know, they're stressing over this, you know? And, um, or this could also be you when this opportunity comes in, Nine of Swords, if this is also you who's just not taking action. See, I feel... It's here, okay? It's here. But you are just like, you know what? I don't know. Is it going to be the same shit? Is it, I mean, you know, you're just not sure about this person. I feel you don't trust this person because probably you feel this person just going through cycles. Again, there are a lot of emotions here. You're going through this emotional cycle with this person, deep emotions, okay? Which are being felt. But again, I'm getting that feeling of not being said. You love this person to the moon and back. But are you doing anything about it? No, because Nine of Swords here, there is something that you're terrified about, okay? And uh, your negative thoughts are constantly manifesting, you know. So I feel you're doing a lot of negative self-talk out here. You know, you have a lot of limited beliefs and self-doubt of whether you can make this happen with this person or not. But again, with the Ten of Cups here, it's it's here. It's here, okay. You are probably doubting yourself of whether things will be um, the way you expect them to be, okay. I feel a lot of doubt, you know. Like, can it work out with this person? Because you've tried to work it out like a million times. Because see, with the nine of wands here, this is someone who's done the same thing over and over again. Okay, you've repeated a situation with them and you're almost fed up. You're very close to giving up. Okay. So yeah, let's see. The outcome is the ten of cups here. My question is that, are you going to give this a, are you going to give this a, a go? With the high priestess here, your intuition is on point. So I guess your intuition is telling you that there's something still hidden. There's something that you still don't know about. Okay, and I think either your nine of swords or your your worries are very unrealistic. Okay, is what I'm getting because that's a lot of past experiences. You're not dealing with any facts here. You're up in your head about this opportunity. All right. Um, so I'm here. I'm gonna give you some goddess guidance oracle goddess guidance oracle cards. Okay, I love them. Let's see what messages do you have for my Sagittarius regarding the spread. What messages do you have for my Sagittarius regarding the spread, please? What are the messages for my Sagittarius regarding this spread? What messages do you have? Okay, not so many. Let's see. So we have Isis, past life. Okay, so this says the situation involves your past life memory. So yeah, this is definitely, like I said, right, six of cups, the hierophant. This is definitely your soulmate connection. Okay, this is a soulmate that you're dealing with, someone who you have best memories with or someone who you've gone through a lot of past lives with. Okay, and you were meant to meet and uh, get into union in this life. We have Yemenia golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them, okay? So whatever is opening in, whatever opportunities you're getting, okay, walk through them. You know why? Because with Freja, bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. This is the two of wands here that they're talking about, okay? You're probably sticking to the safer side, okay? Sticking to your comfort zone because you're not sure, okay? Something in the past is stopping you from taking this leap of faith, but I think with Ace of Wands, you should take risks and um be daring okay so that's what i have for you saj i hope this reading resonates with you if it does do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye, -bye.